Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to a game called Heliopedia. Yeah, look at our little son. He's like, oh, I'm so sad and depressed. Please give me some apples because I'm hungry. I also don't understand that, but whatever. We have exciting things to do today. We have more terraforming going on. So we have our savanna planet here. It's a little bit warm. It's got a little bit of pressure. Actually, not too bad. Oxygen, humidity, and here's the problem, though. Our fertility is low on these planets, which tells me that we probably need more animals. <laughs> and I can't seem to keep them alive. So let's feed the sun some iron ore. I don't know why. No, nah, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just feed the sun coal. There you go, Mr. Sun. There, and then and then if I buy solar eggs, this should work. Now we must do everything we can to keep our grasshoppers alive. We need fertility. Yay, we have a worm. Hello, little worm. Please make another baby worm. They'll take oxygen, convert it into carbon dioxide, and eventually we need plants back in here, don't we? Please don't die, little wormy. No, please stop dying. Why are you dying, you dumb animal? Wormy boy, common invertebrate fertilize the soil by fixing nitrogen from the air into the ground. Oh, <laughs> it's probably dying because it has literally no nitrogen. So if I was smart, I would try to figure out how to get nitrogen. And you know how to do that? You do it from, from plants. Yeah, I'm a genius. And we slap that into the water hole and it goes glurg, 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 plants. Ooh, dry grass. Now give me nitrogen. Maybe I just need to slap two clouds together and pretend they do something cool. Oh, balls! Just made a thunderstorm. <laughs> I kind of like that though. Maybe I can zap humans when I evolve them today. What do I do with the dead? Wow! Oh! Did I just start a fire? Oh, hey, wait. Can I add iron ore to the fire? And then it was always burning as the world was churning. No, it didn't didn't quite work right. Hey, we got nitrogen. That's what I was that's what I was looking for right there. Oh, hot dang! We got more seeds. Do your thing, seeds. We just have a cemetery over here of dead animals. I'm so sorry, little bugs. I have to get rid of you. We can't handle this anymore. Oh, <laughs> this feels so bad in a way. I mean, I don't. It's cremation. It's, it's good. It's good for the environment. Maybe we'll get the fertility up if we get rid of the... Nope, there's nothing. They just kind of disappear. I definitely do want more eggs, though, because we have way too much oxygen going on. And we definitely need more nitrogen. No, don't die. Oh, the, the, the grasshoppers... Di no, it was dying. It's not anymore. Our pressure's too low, though, so maybe I need to increase it by stealing carbon dioxide from this planet that we accidentally kind of blew up and destroyed. Oh, it was so nice and luscious. It even had birds on it. Ooh, I just made a snaky snake. Also, there's bananas on this island. Planet. Not really sure how I got there, but I did. The trees are growing nicely. I can't really tell what's happening over here other than probably needing some more oxygen and carbon dioxide. I probably should have just burnt this whole planet off, like, to be honest. But the fertility is going high because there's lots of worms and snakes and stuff crawling around on it. Kind of feel like I need to cool it down a little bit, though. I made a wooded swamp. That's kind of fun. Not gonna lie. It's kind of exciting. And we have coconuts, too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a coconut. But I put a lime in the coconut. What I'm trying to do is trying to stabilize all of these planets. This one's big. Like, this is a, a, a large unit here. So I'm thinking if I stabilize them, things will go better for us. I also forgot about this planet. <laughs> the ocean planet. It's alive and, and doing oceany things. I can throw nuts in here and everything will be perfect. And maybe it'll plant like a water tree. Actually, it won't. That doesn't even make sense, but a marine bush does. So if I take a stick back to the other stick and put them together, that combines into a nest where I can slap the egg in there, and then I have a nested egg. We need to get rid of the oxygen by giving it something to eat that oxygen. Oh, look! It's a mouse! He's adorable! Bunny! That's what I meant. So he should be able to eat that oxygen, turn it into carbon dioxide, and then the plants will grow. Yeah, go little bunny rabbit. I love you. Okay, say it out loud. He's adorable and stuff, but I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship yet. Oh, no! <laughs> he made poop. <laughs> it's gross. Hilarious, but gross. <laughs> Do you want to eat a nice little turd, Mr. Sun? Yeah, I got to make sure that this balance and the fertility balance stays the same. Oh, that bunny gets chunky when he eats. That's awesome. Yeah, we probably need another tree here. Not another egg. Oh, no, we need oxygen. We need oxygen. I'm so sorry, bunny rabbit. I can't let you die. What is this? Oh, sand. Interesting. And a hole. What do I, can I put a worm in the hole? Go, little wormy. Oh, it doesn't work. I want to know what all the poop's for. I'm hoping this kind of comes with, like, the humans. Oh, I can fill the hole. Weird. Why would I want to fill the hole? Stop pooping everywhere, you silly rabbit. Ooh, 
He saw something. Okay, we're gonna plant another bush here for Benny Boy. Oh, a seedling. That's gonna make a tree. I hope. Maybe if I put poop on the tree, it'll grow faster? Don't try this in real life. It's a little bit weird, not gonna lie. No, he can't poop on the tree. And I just said that out loud in front of like 100,000 people. Really mature today. That is one chonker of a tree, an acacia tree? Is that, is that how you say that word? I don't know how to say words. And it looks as if the planet has fully stabilized. It's amazing, it's amazing. I could give it a little bit of oxygen back. That should work, carbon dioxide. I think that'll be pretty good for now. We're gonna leave this be for a hot minute. Makes me wonder what would happen if I took a piece of that poop. <laughs> stop it, bunny. It's funny, but just stop, it's gross. And we brought the turd over here to the apple tree. And then we watered the turd. Yes, oh, it's growing. I think, I don't know what's happening. Can I put the poop in? Wow, oh, what's happening? Did it increase fertility? I feel like that probably increased the fertility. We need better animals here in this planet. Not a huge fan of this idea because it, it could entirely mess up my entire plan here. But if I combine that and make a nest, grab a se an egg from the sun, and then we shove that in here, we might be able to make some sort of critter. Yeah, tuck it in nice and gently. Come on, little animal. Oh, we got another bunny. He's probably gonna die because there's literally no food for him to eat here. But the good news is he's producing carbon dioxide, so he's got that going for him. Oh wow, we get seeds directly from here? Huh, that's kind of cool. What happens if we plant those seeds? Oh, it just turns into more flowers. What is this? A bumblebee! We made a honeybee! Ha ah, dang! Oh, there's an apple! There's an apple. I got an apple. What is this? A beehive. Oh, that's so cool! Because there's a tree next to the thingies. And Mr. Sunshine wants to eat apples. So what happens if I add another egg to this planet? Get in there, little dude. Tuck that in. I get to have two bunny rabbits. Oh, look, an apple tree grew over. Oh, there's an apple already. This is a high fertility planet. That must be why it's growing things faster. And another Benny, a Benny. Did the bunny just spooned? Okay, hopefully the two bunny rabbits will make it so. Why did the bunnies hatch from an egg? That's real. I'm up here asking real questions. Oh, we got another apple. Nice. That means I can give this guy two little apples and we get another planet. I ate some. Oh, too much. Okay, he's gonna spit. Yeah. Oh, Terrell. That's my nickname in high school, by the way. Barren Wasteland. This actually looks like a good starting spot. Whoa! What is that? Hunting! There's a shipwreck? Who's this? A human? <laughs> Hello, dude. What are you doing? What do I? It doesn't look like a human. <laughs> uh, hot dang, that's awesome. I don't even know what to do now. It's like all these things that I haven't figured out how to do, like sheep and frogs and giraffes and stuff. And then we just unlocked human. Known for its abnormally large brain size and thumbs. That's me, I have thumbs. <laughs> Get it? Whoa. Oh no. Oh. Buddy, I'm up. I'm... Oh, something is really wrong. I got so heavy, I collapsed on myself. <gasps> oh no, I'm a black hole. I I will consume everything. Here, eat that, you dork. Hey, wait, I can still get solar nuts from them and stuff. That's fine. <laughs> what do I do with the humans, though? Oh, here, are asking real questions. I'm guessing we have to terraform that planet and probably not explode it. You know, on second thought, I don't even have to really terraform it. I can just give it carbon dioxide and oxygen. It likes both of them. Need some water, too, so let's just slap in a few clouds, get rid of some of this. Maybe it'll rain eventually? Yes, it's raining. Get that surface humidity going. And not just that, but give me some ashes to increase the fertility. Hey, we have a steppe. Steep. Stepa. Remember that thing about the abnormally large brain? Yeah. <laughs> not right here. Not today. What happens if I give the human an apple? It's like, hey, dude, I made this for you. Oh, he took it. <laughs> what are you going to do with it, bud? I don't care. Now, hold up here. We can make things like a glass dome, a ship hull, and a battery. Also, snowmen, wool, all this stuff. I'm wondering, I mean, if we, like, money, we had the gold, right? What happens if we put, like, gold in a volcano? We'd have to make a volcano first, but I'm sure one of these planets would like to volunteer. Would you like to volunteer? No, you have things going for you. Why do I only have five planets? Okay, we can't do it to the water. We can do it to this one. This one's my best planet, because it has bunnies that are pooping. I have an idea. 
It can be this planet. I feel so bad though. I mean, I could just grab the grasshoppers and kidnap them and put them somewhere else. And and the bunny. I'm so sorry, bunny. You're gonna come with me. Bunny rabbit wants to go swimming. I'm just kidding. Rabbits can't swim. Everybody knows that. Oh balls! The game crashed. Didn't like that. He looks so sad. He's like, game. Why did you do that? I'm super conflicted about this. I'm gonna just do it anyway. We're, oh, I can. Here, give me another cloud. I'm just gonna make a thunder cloud. And then I'm gonna try to zap this with that. I'm just gonna try it. Also, is there sand on this planet? Uh, oh! Okay, that didn't really do anything. Iron ore in the fire? Uh-oh, here goes the entire planet. I knew this was gonna happen. I thought there'd be sand on this planet. Oh, there might be. It's just covered up by the bear. Oh, there, there was something. You see, there's a question mark. What is that? A mud pool. Mud pool? I totally want to plant some seeds in the mud pool. Okay, that didn't work. Can I plant some people in the mud pool? And by people, I mean that. Uh, stop burning. Stop, stop burning. No, the mud pool's gone. That's okay. Because their objective is to grab sand that the bunny rabbit is collecting over here. Oh, that's right. The only thing we have to do to get volcanoes again is increase the fertility of a planet. And there's gold on this one too. Okay, so we have all of the things that we need. We have gold and we have sand and we have iron ore. We don't need clouds though. We just need explosives. I thank you and Nanel, this planet, for volunteering for today's experiments. I just need an absolute buttload of poop. And a little bit of rain to wash our turds in. Increase the fertility of this planet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we have an active volcano again. Okay, magma. Come on, forge it. Come on, can you do your trick. F lava. Make my gold smelt. Make my iron smelt. Do something. Uh-oh. <laughs> Burning coconuts is a good start. Man, that, that's not nearly enough fertility. Quick, drop more and poop. I need like a raging active volcano for this experiment. Maybe if I put the sand in the volcano? Oh, hey, oh, I got glass. Nice, what happens if I give the glass to the human then? He's gonna be like, hey, thanks so much. This wasn't the right planet. That was my bunny planet. Hey bud, I got you a glass bubble. It's nice and shiny. I know you'll like it. He's like, oh boy, look at me. He's actually gonna take it. Oh. Hey, <laughs> he's dropping it up and down. Don't drop it, dude. It's expensive. Hey, made another hat. That's awesome. And also, we can start having some... No, I don't want seeds. We can have little people here. Little animals, because their nitrogen's good. I don't know what he's doing with that, but he's walking around with it. We just got something new. I heard a... Oh, there's an apple. He didn't want the apple. Can you put that on... Can... Oh, a cabin. Oh, that goes over here. Hey, I'm going to take that. And I'm going to put it on here. Oh, 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 look at me. I put it on his ship. That's so cool. Oh, nice. We have ash clouds now. What happens if I combine two ash clouds? Oh, it turns into electricity. I don't want that. We might need to power the ship, which is an interesting idea. Oh, I can smelt. I can smelt iron now into steel. Interesting. Can I smelt the gold now? No, but I'm wondering if I will after I do this. Hey, bud. It's me again. I brought you some steel. I am your benevolent leader. I love you so much. He's like, oh boy, you've got, you've given me the, you've given me heavy rock. I like it. I'm gonna make <laughs> a ship hull. Nice, look at this. What do I need now? Do I need the, it said battery, right? Yeah, we gotta make a battery. So can I put the gold in the volcano now? Hmm, how do I do this? We might need another, oh, we have more ash clouds. What happens if I just cover this thing? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yes, we're making rocks. Okay, that's what I was hoping for, because if you overpressurize something, you can make rocks. Wow! I don't want a tropical ocean. I'm so sorry, game. Okay, I've got that iron ore. Can I smelt this again? Volcano not active. Oh, is the volcano active now? I hear gurgling and gurgling. Yes, it is. Okay, I got it. Can I smell gold too? Hey, hey. Oh, golden, golden. Wait, I made a battery. Okay. Can I charge that battery? This, I'm asking real questions now. Can I charge it? Why is there a stone in orbit? Oh, wow. I just threw the stone on the ground and it turned into... Oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Ash cloud and ash cloud, they make electricity. And then I can charge the battery from the electricity. The thunder cloud. Charge the battery. Charge it. Zap it real hard. I promise it'll be exciting and funny. Yes! Is it working? Hey, it charged the battery! I'm a genius. I'm a certified 100% genius with that abnorm abnormal thumbs thing. 
Hey, bud, bud, <laughs> I got you a charged battery. You're gonna be so excited. No, you're gonna love it so much. He's like, oh, give me that. What does it do? He's like, oh, oh yeah, there's a battery. I needed that, charge it up by lightning and junk. We're gonna slap that inside of my shipwreck and ta-da. <laughs> hey, human, get in your boat. No, 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 you dork. I made this for you. Fine now. <laughs> it's still your boat. Okay, get in there. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Wait, it's gonna run out of battery. Oh, oh, where are you going, bud? Where are you going? Are you gonna fly into the black hole? Why are you kidding me? You just flew right into the middle of the black hole? How did that even hurt me? I'm a black hole. I'm supposed to be the most dense thing in the universe. That's me. Dense. Dense as in, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh-huh. Wait. Oh, goodbye. I beat the game. <laughs> what an interesting game. There's so many more things to unlock, too. That's the cool thing. Um, hey, are you, are you there? Things escalated a bit. Did that little guy do this? He's smarter than he looks. Or she, or they. Well, inside me now, right? And I'm me, but like smaller version. Man, it's so dark in here. Wait, but if I'm me and if you're here, what are you? Your universe is gone. I'm sorry, man. You put a lot of effort into it. Hey, it was nice while it lasted. Or maybe it's still there and we move somewhere else. I don't really know. Maybe everything is blah, 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 lots of words. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of the YouTube supporters and Patreon sponsors for supporting the channel this last month, including Splattersax, Ify Sphere, Joe B, Obi John Kenobi, Fury, Arrow, Doug Rules 2.0, Nerdy Geek, Pyro H, Max M, Alan H, Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dicky H, Teddy Hippius, Desby, Eagle Arc, Maxer, Whippigood, Spencer T, Baron Fox, Sarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, and Rail.